I often struggled paying attention at school to subjects that I thought didn't relate to something I wanted to do later in life. Business, history, IT, these are all good, but psychology, French, my mind would wander, daydreaming about something far more interesting. Cars and video games, usually. In many ways, Rims Racing takes me back to those formative years. Sure, you can ride motorcycles as fast as you can around a track, and there's a career to play through. But this is an educational tool more than anything else. To fully appreciate what this game by Race Ward Studio is trying to achieve, you need to step back for a moment and relearn what a simulation can deliver. There are simulations out there that perfectly recreate the sensation of driving a GT3 car around a soaked Ulton Park. There are simulations with the primary aim of delivering a closely matched and competitive online race. There's also a veritable smorgasbord of weird and wonderful sims out there in a burgeoning market for left field subjects such as bus simulator, lawn mowing simulator, and power wash simulator. It's these latter releases that RIMS Racing is surprisingly more akin to. Like organizing your tools in Car Mechanic Simulator, or playing with your diff locks in SnowRunner, often it's the preparation that is the engaging element. Recent motorcycle game Ride 4 is not a fair comparison in this instance. That's more about motorcycle collecting in an accessible fashion, whereas RIMS Racing takes the bold step of including only eight bikes in total, and instead focuses on the number of parts available, over 500 across 45 different component types, in fact. This is a detailed simulation through and through. Then again, don't think of this as a rival to the early access sim title Track Day R either, but we'll get to the on-track antics a bit later. Your headquarters is where you'll spend most of your time. Once you've purchased your first motorcycle and progressed through the hand-holding tutorials, you can start getting those hands dirty. Everything from the brake calipers to the saddle, tires, and wing mirrors, plus a whole load more, is interchangeable. Every time you use your steed, it will wear out these parts. Not if, but when you crash, your parts will wear down even quicker. Even scratches to the equipment remain after each race until you eventually replace them. This means you'll need to check through the condition of your bike on a regular basis. You can even do this mid-race by using the motorbike status check, which allows you to see how worn your tires are, for example. When it comes to changing each facet of your ride, there are more quick time events than a David Cage game. You twizzle the left stick one way, then hold the left trigger before hitting a face button six times to remove certain parts. Each part of a part, if you catch my drift, is a stage. So you often start with a simple button prompt to remove screws or bolts before advancing to more intricate maneuvers to dismount old parts or mount new parts. There is also a component marketplace where you can shop for a wide range of officially licensed consumables. The developers are very keen to stress once again that this is a simulator, so just like real life, if you have enough money, you can buy any Go Faster upgrade at any time. No parts need to be unlocked. Lightly worn parts from your bike can also be sold on a secondhand market. It's more detailed than the Sistine Chapel and is clearly Rims Racing's modus operandi. We'll have to wait and see closer to release if these tasks become repetitive or retain their novelty over the game's duration. Seeing as you want to reduce the wear of your motorbike, you have to be careful in race scenarios, and you feel more attached to your bike as a result. It's analogous to playing Nintendogs, or if you remember the curious portable virtual pet craze Tamagotchi. Yeah, like that, but caring for a motorcycle, not an egg watch thing. Once you've pried yourself away from the motorbike stand, the main racing mode is a lengthy single-player career. Here you take your bike and your customized rider from beginner level all the way through to champion of the world. There isn't a selection of leagues or categories, the structure is as straightforward as it gets, one event after the next. For the most part, you'll be racing or setting quick laps either on your own ride or on a borrowed bike. In this preview build, we got a taste of the first 10 events to provide a flavor of what's available, so we don't know for sure if the types of challenges are more varied as you progress, but certainly at this stage, there are a lot of 7-lap races. Do well in events, earn cash, spend cash on parts, rinse and repeat. You can also earn team points, which are then spent on a skill tree. Advancing through the various skills unlocks features such as automatic pit stops, reduced tire rates, or additional bike setup slots. 
There will also be research and management divisions to dive into within the final game. To spice things up, there will be online multiplayer and rejoice, rejoice, split screen offline multiplayer as well. Finally, we hit the circuit and it's where it finally hits home that being a mechanic is the core strength of RIMS Racing. In this work in progress build, the handling feels a bit lumpen. When the bike squirms under braking, the animations feel too stiff. It's as if your rider has planks of wood within their race suit with rigid reactions to your inputs. The initial turn-in just isn't as elegant as other motorcycle titles. It uses the KT Racing game engine primarily for the visuals. The Race Ward team has made the bikes and therefore the handling from scratch, so initial comparisons to the technology sharing TT Isle of Man games are wide off the mark. It's clearly differentiated from the road racing series, but I'm interested to see if the final version adds some finesse to the handling performance. Full DualSense controller support is promised for the PS5 version, so perhaps clever use of the adaptive triggers could assist with the feeling when grip is diminishing. Still, once again, you need to think about the motorcycle modeling first and the on-track action second. In this respect, in motion, the bikes still look incredibly detailed and special attention has clearly been placed on the engine sounds. Each reverberates in a distinct fashion. Raspy and intense. The quick time events return here too should you need to visit the pits. We recently published an article discussing dream racing game features, one of which was controllable pit stops last seen in Formula One Championship Edition from 2006. Well, they are here. A few quick time events later, your fuel is topped up and fresh tires are on the bike. You won't be setting any refueling time records, but you will at least have fun. The track list is not particularly extensive, much like the vehicle roster but it is at least varied with 10 circuits and five courses based upon real roads. These are road-based performance bikes after all, so the team wanted to virtually recreate some road trip-esque sort of vibes. Rims Racing is a brand new franchise that is without parallel, and in the current game market, that is a breath of fresh air. The component management acts as one part school, one part mechanic sim, well, instead of trying to include as many vehicles as possible, Race Ward has prioritized detail. I just wish for a more fluid on-track experience at this early juncture. We look forward to seeing how the game progresses ahead of its release on PS5, PS4, PC, Xbox Series, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch on August 19th. Thanks for watching, make sure to like the video, get subscribed, and hit the bell icon to ensure you never miss a single video from Traction. Until next time, keep it pinned.